Hello to all the families watching today's video. My name is Marie, and in this video, we are going to learn another welcome and hello song. In today's book, we are going to be reading Stella, Star of the Sea by Marie Louise Gay. And for today's art activity or sensory activity, we are going to be making a sensory bottle. Isn't it fun? Okay, now we're going to learn a new song which is called, How Are You All Doing Today? It's very, very simple. All you need to say is, how are you all doing today? And I hope you're doing well. It goes like this and we're just gonna repeat the lines. How are you all doing today? How are you all doing today? How are you all doing today? I hope you're doing well. Let's do that one more time. Here it goes. How are you all doing today? How are you all doing today? How are you all doing today? I hope you're doing well. Great! What a wonderful song to say hello and welcome to everyone. Let us begin with our story, Stella, Star of the Sea. I know right now we can't really go to the beach and have fun in the water, but by reading this book, we can have a chance to imagine what it's like to go on a beach and be in the water. Stella, Star of the Sea, written by Marie Louise Gay. Stella and Sam were spending a day at the seashore. It was Sam's very first time. This is Stella and this is Sam. Their brother and sister. Isn't it beautiful, Sam? asked Stella. It's very big, said Sam. And noisy. Stella had seen the sea once before Sam was born. She knew all its secrets. Is the water cold? asked Sam. Is it deep? Are there any sea monsters? asked Sam. Sam's standing over there. And Stella's really excited to go to the waters. The water is all lovely, said Stella. Not a sea monster in sight. Come on, come on in, Sam. N not right now, said Sam. Look at Stella. Stella's having a blast in the water already. Where do starfish come from? asked Sam. They come from the sky, answered Stella. Starfish are shooting stars that fell in love with the sea. Here comes a shooting star. Weren't the stars afraid of drowning? asked Sam. No, said Stella. They all learned how to swim. What is this? asked Sam. It's a moon shell, said Stella. It comes from the moon. What is that? asked Sam. It's an angel wing, said Stella. It comes from an angel. And this? asked Sam. It's a shark's eye, said Stella. Take a look at what they're holding. Do you ever think there are sharks in the sea? asked Sam. Have you ever seen one? Just a little one, said Stella, with an eye patch. Are you coming, Sam? No, not just this minute, said Sam. Stella's really getting excited. She's putting on her flippers. Come see, Sam, said Stella. I found a seahorse. Does a seahorse neigh? asked Sam. Does a seahorse gallop? Do you think the seahorse neighs and gallops? I don't think so. Yes, cried Stella, and you can ride a seahorse bare back. Come on in, Sam. Not right now. So Stella's imagining she's on the back of a seahorse. Let's dig a very deep hole, said Stella. Look at what Stella's doing. 
she started to dig her hole. And Sam is helping her. Why, said Sam, why are we digging for? Where will we end up? And Stella replied, in China. Are we there yet? asked Sam. Let's go fishing, Sam. Maybe we'll catch a catfish. Sam has so many questions, he asked. Does a catfish purr? asked Sam. Does a dogfish bark? Does a toadfish croak? asked Sam. I don't know, sighed Stella. I'm going swimming. Does a parrotfish swim? asked Sam. Or does it fly and squawk? Sam has so many questions. He even asked, does the sea touch the sky? asked Sam. Do boats sail off the edge? Where do waves come from? Why? Sam, yelled Stella, are you ever coming in? Yes, said Sam. Hooray, and both Stella and Sam are swimming and floating in the water. The end. That's a beautiful story of discovering the sea, especially with their sibling. Okay, so now we are going to find out what art activity or sensory activity we are going to be doing. It's very simple and it's a very fun activity. It's called a water sensory bottle. All you need to do is number one, find a bottle. Number two, you need to get a tape so that afterwards you can seal it. Number three, you need to find some materials that you think can float. Examples are, I have some foam with me that can float inside the bottle. Make sure that they are flexible and that you can fold them just like this. If you have small pieces of decor made out of plastic, just like what I have over here, let me show you. I have little plastic flowers that I can put inside my sensory bottle. If you also have some beads at home, such as this, maybe I'll scoop them out for you. I have some beads that you can put inside as well. If you have little beads at home, you may do that. And last but not the least, I added some glitter. And if you had food color at home, you can add some food color as well. And you can choose the color that you like. With a sensory bottle, make sure that you fill up the water just up to here, not all the way up to the brim so that it gives the pieces of materials inside a space to move around, just like this. It's a very calming sensory bottle that can help you focus or give you a break when you're very busy doing your schoolwork. Okay, I'm gonna sing a few songs that you can use your sensory bottle and I hope that you can follow along and watch this video again once you're done with your sensory water bottle. The song that I'm going to be singing is called Shake Your Sillies Out and the song goes like this. We're gonna shake, shake, shake your sillies out, shake, shake, shake your sillies out, shake, shake, Shake your sillies out, shake, and then we stop. We're going to take a moment to stop and pause until the glitters fall down. Can you shake it up high? Can you shake it down low? Can you shake it up high? And pause and see what happens. And make a circle. You have to shake it in a circle. Woo! And the other way, shake it in a circle. You're gonna shake, shake, shake your sillies out. Shake, shake, shake your sillies out. Shake, shake, 
shake your sillies out. Shake and then we stop. Take a moment to stop and look at your sensory bottle. Look at how the glitters are floating around inside. And take a look at how the beads and the foam are floating all the way to the top. Well, actually the bottom of the bottle. I hope that with a sensory bottle, it can help you focus. It can help you give a break from your schoolwork and it can also bring some joy and fun in your life. Thank you families for watching today's video. Until next time, see you again. Bye!